Hello, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to look up parts on myjohndeere.com, verify inventory from your local kibble location, and place an order. So to start, you go to myjohndeere.com and sign in with your free account. If you don't have an account, you can set one up right on that page. On this landing page, there's quite a few things uh, going on here. We got uh, John Deere Financial Operations Center, JD Link, but we're going to focus on JD Parts and Find Parts. So find parts uh, is if I do not know the part number and I need to look it up in the parts catalog. Um, the first time you set this up, it'll ask you some location preferences so it knows which kibble location to look at inventory. So down here, uh, you can either search by part number or model. If you don't know the serial number, you can hit S680 and it'll search all S680s. Uh, but if you do have the pin, that's the best way to make sure you get the right book if in case there's any part or uh, excuse me, serial number breaks. Uh, down here, it pulls up a functional uh, breakdown of, of the parts book. This is similar to what the parts guys look at at the counter, a little bit different, but very similar. Uh, so you can click and zoom to see the different parts section. Each one of these is a section on the parts book. So I'm looking for some filters. So that means I need to go to OV, and I'm looking for some uh, filters there. As you can see, belts also show up. Uh, so now it pulls up an illustration with all of the filters on the machine. Uh, if you want to jump right to the right filter, you can click on the number and it brings you right down to the right spot on the right-hand side. Um, this shows you the, the part number, any remarks, especially if there's any uh, option differences, like between transmi uh, transmissions, for, for example. Uh, the price and then the status. So in stock means we got plenty of them. Limited stock means they're running low. And then if it says available to order, that means we don't show any stock at that store at that time. You can hit check other stores, and this will pull up our other locations. So you can see uh, if, if it's something where you can go another direction, uh, or if uh, you can get it on the parts run easily that, that day or the, or the next day. Uh, so if I, if I want that part, I can hit add to cart. And then now in my cart, I can proceed to checkout and then it'll actually generate an email notification to our parts department and then they will create a pick list for you so you can come pick up those parts. The other option is if you already know that part number uh, you can either search that um, back here or the way I like to do it is in this other area called JD Parts there is a quick part number search there's a lot of stuff, a lot of resources in this page, but this is what I use it mainly for. And it shows me quickly the price, how many on hand, an actual number. And then if it's low, you can hit check other stores and it'll pull up all of our other locations. And you can toggle through to the one that's next closest to you to figure out where to go. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, please reach out to your local Kibble Parts Department. Thank you and be safe.